Hi, I'm Annabelle. I was very fascinated by the moral and ethical dilemmas within the law and inherent in the law. And this is something that I think applies to everyone, such as many situations of BLM nowadays in America, as well as equality issues all around the world and LGBTQ plus issues. I think this is an area where we can all give a lot of thought to. And this is something that studying law actually enables you to understand a lot more about. So what should the law be? Not only what the law is, I hadn't actually considered whether I'd want to practice in the UK or Hong Kong. And this is important because where you actually study your law degree is so pertinent to where you end up practicing law. So I'm actually currently on the PCLL degree and this is because I've chosen to now practice in Hong Kong. However, the benefit of this double degree as opposed to any other LLB degree means that you choose whether you want to practice the LPC in the UK or the PCLL in Hong Kong and you don't have to do any more conversion exams. It's something I had to consider until actually my final year of university because of the option that this double degree gave. So the experience that you'll have at UCL and at Hong Kong U will be completely different. I personally loved being in the UK and Hong Kong and this is because I made many different friends, many different new friends in the UK. I learned about many different cultures. I learned about the law in a different manner. And at HAU, similar situation, except the friends, the learning and the teaching are also completely different. This is something that you will have to bear in mind if you choose this double degree, that the culture shock and the lifestyle will also be different. Both UCL and Hong Kong U, as well as both of these places, offer many different activities for you to do. Um, at UCL, they hold a lot of different competitions. So I personally joined uh, a negotiation competition at UCL. And my partner and I ultimately qualified um, as finalists and we were actually chosen to represent UCL um, in a UK negotiation competition. And we actually came ninth overall out of 66 teams. I didn't do that many ECAs at Hong Kong U, but this doesn't mean that there aren't many options at HKU as well. So there, for example, there are mooting competitions. The reason I didn't do mooting is because I was actually very engaged in the different clinics that HKU offers. So I did two different clinics. So I did Trial Watch and I also did another program called Refugee Clinic. So Trial Watch is a program where you go out to court, you actually monitor trials, um, you write about the case history, the case background, you do a lot of research and Refugee Lord Clinic is a clinic where you actually have a lot of hands-on exposure to working with people who are seeking asylum claims in Hong Kong. One of my favourite courses that I've taken throughout my law degree is actually called Children's Rights. So I took this course at HKU and the professor is Dr. Pooja Kapai. This is a course where I felt that I was truly actually contributing to potential change in society. We learned about how children are viewed in society and I realised that I was actually falling into a lot of pitfalls um, that were putting children in a more vulnerable position in society. For instance, when we think about children, we always think that we need to protect them. However, Dr. Pooja Kapai actually offers a different perspective in that when we are actually looking at children as children, we are actually disregarding their own self-autonomy. We as adults, we have to step back, we have to give them that space to grow, to make mistakes, but in a safe environment. So this is, an er this is a course which really inspired me to think about what I wanted to do with my law degree. I took this course in my third year of university, and after taking this course, it actually inspired me to continue on this law path. At both Hong Kong U and UCL, you will have lectures, which is where you sit in a large lecture room with around 100 or 150 students. You will also have tutorials. Tutorials are smaller group sessions. I highly recommend that you qualify any issues that you have or questions that you have during these tutorial sessions because these, this is the best venue for it. The professor will be able to give you one-on-one -on -one feedback as well if you request for it. Preparation is crucial for tutorials. Without preparing, you don't actually know what issues you need to qualify. You don't know what you understand and you also don't know what you don't understand. 
Tutorials are a great place for you to actually exchange ideas with your peers. But any questions that they have can also contribute to your own learning and also prompt you to think about things that you may not actually consider in the first place. They may help you realise things that you actually don't understand, which you initially believed that you did. This is a very tough course. This will be slightly tougher than straight LLB at UCL and straight LLB at HKU. We are condensing three years at UCL and four years of HKU um, into four years. So the material that you cover, unfortunately, will be significantly or slightly higher than if you did just a simple LLB at either institution. Studying law will be difficult, it will be challenging, and sometimes you may find yourself completely exasperated and not actually know how to continue, what you should be looking for, what cases you should look at. These are the times which motivation will actually carry you through. Actually, even though it was a very difficult four years for me, I had a very enjoyable time, and at the difficulty actually contributes to this enjoyment, because without a challenge, you can't actually truly enjoy law. That's my own personal view. So this is actually a journey that I hope all of you will be able to experience for yourselves going forwards.